I first sauteed about, I'd say about a, a half a cup of onion in olive oil and then I threw two sausages in there, two Italian sausages and I uh, removed the skins so you can crunch them up easily or the, the, uh, the casing. Then I threw in a pound of ground beef. So it's gonna be a really, really meaty sauce. You're gonna like it a lot. And it's going to, uh, you're gonna mix all this stuff together until it becomes incorporated. Then you throw in a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of garlic powder uh, to your liking, and then mix it again. It's really, it's really, really simple. Uh, mix it till it keeps cooking. This is gonna be a very, very rich uh, lasagna. It's not like those ones you get where they're always skimping on meat or skimping on something else. Right there I just poured in my, my favorite pasta sauce. Find your favorite pasta sauce and throw it in there. It's not difficult at all to make, uh, but it's well worth it. Much better than a lot of lasagnas you've ever had. Once you've done that, the next thing you wanna do is stick about a cup of water in there. You see it starting to simmer. What we're gonna do is we're gonna reduce it, kinda of get those, uh, give it, you know, those flavors some time to, you know, come together. You can see they're starting to bubble, so just get that simmer down and keep stirring it, you know, every few minutes, just to kinda of let it get nice and thick, as we can see right here. Look at that. It's gonna thicken up even more, which is better. So now what we're doing is we're going ahead and adding our ricotta, which is 15 ounces of ricotta cheese. Then we're gonna add one third of a cup of Parmesan cheese. And of course, one fresh egg. And then you can add uh, Italian seasoning to your liking. And uh, a little bit of salt as well, if you like, to your liking. And just mix everything together. You're gonna make this nice, beautiful, fluffy paste. It's gonna go perfect in there. Easy to spread as well. It's not gonna be some thick, hard thing to spread. I like these shells here because you just they're just baking ready. You don't have to you know, put them in water and boil them. Besides those boiler ones, sometimes they're a little too thick and rubbery for me. So I just put these together. Oh, by the way, don't forget, you know, bowl of grated uh, mozzarella. Get another bowl of Parmesan as well. Uh, and then there's your bread pack. Let's get this thing started. When I say a bowl, I mean like a cereal bowl. Spread the bottom uh, with your meat mixture. See how thick that is? This is gonna be very meaty and nice. What I like about it is it's not that thick lasagna. There's your Parmesan. Then you're gonna go ahead and put your uh, your, your uh, shell there, and then put your topping. And you're gonna repeat it. What I like about this lasagna is it's very, very meaty, very cheesy, very flavorful. Unlike other lasagnas, where it comes on your plate to stack, and it's just like, okay, there's a good bite here, there's a good bite there. And then halfway through the lasagna, you've run out of everything, out of meat or cheese or whatever. This is not the prettiest lasagna on a plate. It's kind of ugly. But when you eat it, it really, really makes up for everything you've been missing because all those flavors just come so beautifully together. So you can see your layers, your meat, your cheese, your uh, pasta, and then you just keep layering it. And once you get that all layered together, put everything uh, well together, there you go. Put your final layers on top. And then what you're gonna do is cover it with the final layer of Parmesan. And then you're gonna put your cheese on top. And then you're gonna nicely put foil all around it. Then in a preheated oven, you wanna bake at 375 for about 45 minutes. And look at that. Mmm, bubbly and juicy. And then that's how it comes out on the plate. But it's wonderful, it's really delicious. Everything melts together, serve it with garlic bread, and beautiful, there you go. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks a lot.